let's take a look at the digestive system. So here we have the mouth, the fetal pig's mouth. We have the oral cavity. We have the hard palate, bony structure forming the roof of the mouth. We have the tongue. We have a uh, soft palate. We have the, th uh, the throat or the pharynx. It has three segments, the nasal pharynx, so the nasal pharynx, the oral pharynx, and inferiorly we have the laryngeal pharynx. If we get into the, if we get towards the back of the throat, we see the opening of the esophagus. So this is the opening of the esophagus. So this is where you would have the upper esophageal sphincter. This is the epiglottis. Epiglottis is part of the respiratory system. So because it's there, it's an important structure. I'll just mention it. So the epiglottis controls the opening of the larynx. Again, it's not part of the part of the digestive system, but part of the respiratory system. So when I take the probe and probe the opening of the esophagus, it gets into the esophagus. So here we could see the esophagus. So in the thoracic region, we see the thoracic the esophagus gets all the way down to the diaphragm, where it penetrates the diaphragm through the um, esophageal hiatus, so the esophageal hiatus. This is the diaphragm. This is your thoracic cavity. You have your lungs within your thoracic cavity. This is the part of the esophagus within the thoracic cavity. Again, we have the diaphragm. The diaphragm, important in the respiratory system, also divides the thoracic cavity from the abdominal cavity. Um, here is the liver, so we can see the liver. The liver has one, two, three, four, and five lobes. So again, the liver is one of the accessory organ of the digestive system. We have the stomach. So continuing from the esophagus, we have the stomach, and this is the lower esophageal sphincter. This is the fundus, the, head, the top part of the stomach, the fundus the body of the fun, uh, stomach, and then we have the antrum. This is the pyloric antrum. Okay, so the pyloric antrum, and then leading into the pyloric sphincter, or through the pyloric sphincter. This is a muscular structure. If you were to touch it, it's really hard and muscular. So this is a pyloric sphincter. Um, from the pyloric sphincter, we have the duodenum. The duodenum is the first part of the small intestine. You have lots of chemical digestion taking place within the uh, duodenum. From the duodenum, you have the jejunum. And then from the jejunum, you have the ileum. So three segments of the large intestine. D, G, I, duodenum, the jejunum, and the ileum. The ileum leads into the large intestine or the colon. The first part of the large intestine is the cecum. So you have the cecum. This here is the ileocecal junction. This is where the ileum connects to the cecum. And then this is the appendix. So you can see the appendix is somewhat long in structure. From the cecum, of course, you have the rest of the large intestine. In pigs, we're, you can see in the fetal pigs, it's a spiral structure, so it's called the spiral colon and this would eventually lead into the rectum and then the, uh, the anal canal and then the waste would be eliminated. Uh, inferior to the stomach we have this organ, this organ here. This is the pancreas. So this is the head of the pancreas, this is the tail and the rest is the body. The head is really associated with the duodenum. So you can see how the duodenum kind of curves around the head of the pancreas. And of course the pancreas is the main organ involving digestive system. Although it's an accessory organ, but it releases it it is the uh, the main digestive enzyme producing organ. That's what I should have said. Alright? And it's also one of the accessory organs. So liver is accessory organ, pancreas is also accessory organs. However, the pancreas produces most of the digestive enzymes. We have also the spleen. The spleen is part of the immune system. However, because it's located here, I'll mention it up. We have the stomach. 
from the stomach we have the greater curvature so this is the greater curvature of the stomach all right so you can see this curve is a greater curvature of the stomach and this is where the greater omentum would be attached you've seen that in your notes and in slides this would be the, le the uh, lesser curvature so in this region we have the lesser curvature and this is where the lesser curvature the lesser omentum would be attached okay so we have the stomach what else are we missing now all these organs are within the abdominal cavity and you refer to this as the peritoneum okay so this cavity this region here is the peritoneum and the peritoneum you have parietal peritoneum which attaches to the body wall and visceral peritoneum visceral peritoneum is attached to the organs within the uh, cavity all right so we have parietal visceral attached to these and of course the abdominal cavity um, of course the anus so here is the anus so this is where waste would eventually be eliminated so I'll quickly just point to key structures so we begin with the mouth we have hard palate soft palate the tongue we have the opening of the esophagus upper esophageal sphincter we have the esophagus all the way within the thor thoracic cavity we have the diaphragm again respiratory system we have the liver we also have gallbladder I may have forgotten to mention the gallbladder but just in case this is the gallbladder it stores bile that is needed for digestion of digestion of lipids okay so here is the gallbladder liver gallbladder we have the stomach the greater curvature and different parts of the stomach we have the duodenum we have the jejunum the ileum we have the cecum okay so the cecum this part the cecum and this is the appendix and then we have the spiral colon or large intestine eventually the rectum and the anus and the anal canal we have the abdominal cavity parietal peritoneum and visceral peritoneum so i will number these just so that the instruction can have numbers that you can be quizzed on one two three four four five six okay five six seven eight nine okay, nine ten eleven twelve okay this is twelve thirteen this membrane the membrane on top of these or attached to these 14 and what else I think that's as much so 14 structures or main structures actually all right so this has been the digestive system